All right, welcome back to Realms Beyond, Ashes of the Fallen. So you might notice that I have a different set of characters because I have optimized my party for combat. Let me take a look. So this is a Dwarven Fighter. Look at these stats, definitely good. Armor class 17, plus six to melee combat. Very useful to have. Uh, we have a Barbarian, who has 20 strength, uh, with his AC, I got his AC to 17. Uh, the other stats don't really matter, just there for other factors. We got that up as much as possible. And then we have a Cleric. Again, the Wisdom doesn't really matter in the first level, when all the spells you really want are the ones that don't need it. So it favors offensive capabilities, therefore better armor. Ranger, two up in fighting. Um, an elf to increase his dexterity as high as possible so that he can match the other ACs. Uh, the rogue is a human in order to have both um, point blank and precise shot because uh, shooting into melee can be really detrimental to your accuracy, so you want that. You could go human, or you could go ranger, and you might get even more attack bonus, but for now, five's decent, especially with the um, short bow plus one there. And then there's point blank shot, which gives you more. Um, wizard, I used a gnome in order to um, get a spell focus illusion, and in addition to the gnome's illusion bonus as well. Um, so the spell for uh, color spray, um, which is illusion-based, has is the hardest it can be possibly resisted with an 18 intelligence. Highest possible constitution, uh, good enough dex that I can manage, and of course, because he has mage armor, his AC is 17. So everyone has 17 AC. Which um, is as good as I can manage. Um, I decided to go for the summoning for spells. I went for uh, summoning spells on both of the characters because that will increase your ability to deal with threats. And then of course buff spells, bless and cure light wounds, uh, as well as the various uh, cantrips and orisons, mage armor, color spray, and of course summon monster because that's what we want to do in order to have the improvedness of combat as much as possible. I wish I could weapon swap before combat, but I'll have to do it in combat, which will very likely take a turn. So let's have detailed combat events. And, oh, by the way, this is the journal in case I, I forgot to show it off. Nothing particular about it. It's just a journal. More useful in the main game. So, without further ado, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's, I think, three. I think when I was looking last. Also, my uh, last file crashed anyway, so I decided to over... to because you can't save in this game, or in this beta, uh, I decided to have a good hard look at my characters to make sure I was really exploiting the combat rules to the best of my ability. So, um, there are not spells. So you have Rage, which is very useful for the Barbarian. Um, uh, aid another action can be useful I'm, I'm wondering how that's implemented. The ranger doesn't have any of their special abilities, though, I will say. None of, most of their special abilities are implemented like favored enemy or fighting styles, so I'm just showing it off just to show it off. So yeah, most... Uh, Turn Undead is implemented, and uh, Rage is implemented, so I have both of those. So hopefully... Hopefully, uh, this will work. Kind of want to 
go down first, I think. All right. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Interesting, we're fighting against a group of NPC types. How it what an interesting <laughs> choice for a first combat. Or sorry, no, wait. I'm looking at my own party, what am I thinking? What are these? Okay. These are the enemies, I was confused. So we have a uh, elven mage, dwarven fighter, elven priest, marauder, raider, marauder. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Ranger is the first turn. So this is probably the turn order. So, that's uh, me, the Elven Ranger. Next turn will be Elven Priest, then my, um, my Gnome, then my Cleric, then their Elven Mage, my Rogue, my Barbarian, their Elven Archer, my Fighter, and my and then the Marauders and the rest. Okay. So I'm going to take the smart approach and let them come to me. So it looks like uh, green is your movement rate. So uh, every hex, oh, here, let me get the better camera angle. Every hex is five feet. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can do 30 feet. Um, if you're lightly armored enough, in the case of my ranger. My ranger is two weapon fighting, uh, which is at its best. So I'm going to move up just to the side here. And then I'm going to um, delay my turn. No, well, I guess I can't do that. Well, normally I would be able to. Um, but it's really nice that you can do that um, in five foot steps. Very useful for avoiding attacks of opportunity. And then, don't have any spells. So let's just end our turn. Oh, looks like that was a bad idea. Okay, cast a spell, hopefully. Hmm. Oh, uh, never mind. Let's um, switch weapons. Because um, unfortunately, you can't start with ranked weapons in this game for the moment. You probably will be able to. There we go. Hmm. So it looks like they give you a kind of situation where you can see where how easy it might be to hit someone. So I'm gonna go after one of the characters there. Manage to hit. Oh. Uh five foot step. Yeah, let's do that. Back of the bit. Okay, I, I didn't realize that was uh, gonna work well, so that's nice. Yes, you can do a five foot step as a free a as a yeah, it's a free action as a an action you can always do in every turn, even if you spend your move action to switch weapons and then a standard action to attack. 
So that's how that works. Okay, now my cleric. Um, I'm going to summon a monster over here. Let's hope, see how this works. Oh, pretty cool. So it's a demon. How bizarre. This must be part of the horror of the game. Why would my cleric summon a demon? I'm a little... Um... Oh, that must have taken my full action. Yeah, summon spells. Here, let me, uh, let's look at it for a moment. Um, full round action. So if you look right here, full round. It was there. Just trust me. It was there. Full round action. You can see it right around there. Um, that's why I can't do a move action afterwards. So I can only do a five foot step. I am going to go forward. And now my summon immediately gets a turn. So that's an interesting insight. I'm going to... Um, there's no other weapons available. My demon's pretty bad, apparently. But, oh, my demon has multi-attack. Okay, very interesting. Um, yeah, we don't have that information, but um, it's probably hidden somewhere that it can attack twice per round. Very interesting. Similar to two weapon fighting. Um, let's take a five foot step. Try to cast Ray of Frost. Okay, my rogue is going to switch weapons to a bow. Um, now I can hit this cleric. And that might be a bad idea. Actually, that's a decent idea. Because, because I have precise shot, this it's not actually penalizing me. Let's take the excellent that I rolled a two. <sighs> okay, let's take a five foot step back. Oh, that's certainly Oh, this is my barbarian. Since he can't reach the others, might as well go after the one he can reach. Okay, that's good. And then my uh, fighter. Fighter, on the other hand. No, not quite, huh? Okay, my fighter is... not going to make it all the way up. So we're going to try to get them to come to us. So we're just going to Now they're going to go after the demon. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Yes, please. Okay. Um, 
very interesting. They bunched up like that. I might be able to um, use color spray. Because I don't really care about the demon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and retreat. I don't know, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> Retreating with the... Uh... I'm going to move here. Oh. Well, I have two attacks, so hopefully I'll hit him anyway. Didn't work. Okay. Hopefully I do this right. How does color spray work? It would be really nice to know. Okay, it goes kind of like that. So if I hit this, so if I hit one, two, three, four, it probably goes four squares in a cone. Or four hexes, I should say. So I think... Okay, let's toggle that off. We have to... properly... position ourselves. I think this is the right spot. No. No, it's not. Toggle that back off. We have to go here. Um, let's try to cast defensively. <laughs> okay. Phew! This is a bit dangerous. Am I... Yes! It worked. Because I'm a gnome, and because I took the, um, I took, um, Spell Focus Illusion, uh, I had a very good result, so they have extremely large penalties. They're basically unconscious, blinded, oh my god, they have so many things on them, let's see. Same. Same. Must have saved. Let's see. Might have, might be able to see that here somewhere. What is it? The uh, the dwarven fighter. Let's see how the dwarven fighter. Maybe I didn't quite hit. Ah. Damn. Well, he succeeded on his saving throw, but still. My DC was 16, which is as high as I could manage. Uh, the way you calculate DC is uh, it's 10 plus your ability modifier. In this case, the gnome has 4, so it's 14. Then the gnome has a specialty in illusion, so that's 15. Then I took a spell focus illusion 16. It's as high as I could possibly have gotten it at this point in the game. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal the ranger. So I'm going to go... Never mind. I'm going to go here and hit this guy. Oh, I forgot to put a... Weapon. Um, yeah, we should kill them while we have the chance, but uh, let's... By the way, if this crashes, I'll probably try to keep it anyway. So if there's like an abrupt end to this video, it's probably because it crashed. Because that happens in betas. Okay, let's try hitting the mage. Okay. Let's go here. And the 
return barbarian. Let's block off. Yeah, the or sorry, yeah. Um let's see, this is a free action I can use to increase um the constitution and a morale bonus. But I take a penalty to armor class. So let's do this. See what that looks like. And then now we have an actually decent chance of hitting you. <laughs> well, that worked like a charm. Okay, we've gotten rid of the various threats. Um. Let's see. Okay, so let's, uh, now let's just destroy these guys in the back here. Okay, so I'm going to go here and just hit these. Kill these guys. Um, now because they're unconscious, they should not be able to do attacks of opportunity. So I'm just gonna back up. And then I'll just... Oh, right. Ah, uh, that was a mistake on my part. Whoops. Well, regardless, let's, uh, let's, uh, get these guys, kill them. Yeah, shield bashing is a thing. I didn't, I forgot to equip a weapon on my cleric. It was a unfortunate insight. Now let's, uh, move closer. Let's just um, deal with the cleanup here. Yeah, I can shoot into melee without any um, penalties. That's one of the best things about precise shot. You do want that if you're planning to take an archer, human archers, or elven archers, or rangers at least. Um, very useful for that reason reason to. Alright, let's just move here and slaughter this guy. 11 damage. Um, you do get uh, 1.5 strength bonus whenever you wield a uh, two-handed weapon, whenever you do an attack, so that is indeed helping. So yeah, we're cleaning this up quite easily. <laughs> And we got some XP. Wow, that was easier than I expected. Keep in mind, I completely optimized everything. That color spray was fantastic. Spells really can make the difference, especially when you optimize for them. Illusion's pretty useful. So if you plan to make a wizard illusionist, definitely take the gnome, take the spell focus solution, then take the greater spell focus solution, and then your spells will be really hard to resist. An illusion can do some pretty nasty things. So, so if you like specialist wizards, even if they're not technically available, that's what you want to do. If, if that's what you want. And plus you have all the other spells too, so it's not like it's that bad. Uh, doesn't look like Looting is allowed. Uh, oh, 
I was about to say I couldn't show off healing spell, but actually no, I can because healing can be done outside of combat. So I'm glad I can do that. Let's see what that looks like. Um, first of all, let me get the ranger to be away from. Okay, cleric. Stay there, ranger. Cure light wounds on the ranger. Very nice. Obviously, they can fix the animations related to facing and all that. That's not done yet. But again, it worked. And spell, spell effects are quite subtle. I think I like that. Also, one thing you might have noticed is that when you're wearing chain and all that, you make sounds as you walk. That's just so cool. And of course, spells, when you pick up items and you click on things. Anyway, let's just see what happens when we leave. Glad the recording has stayed up. Let's see what he says. You have prevailed, adventurers, giving Chase your next challenge. Oh, yeah, we shall prevail on every challenge. Alright, so um, in this battle we fought several NPCs. There was even a mage and a um, and several other things. So yeah, summon monster, very useful for attracting, um, especially if you expose it um, and then you you expose it so that the enemy thinks, oh, let's get rid of that summon first. Making them bunch up so that you can just blast them with a cone spell. Um, cast defensive really wasn't working, but if it was, you would use that and then cast the spell. Hopefully you've taken combat casting so that that works well. Uh, things like that. Actually, I didn't take combat casting because I took spell focus. But I had good AC thanks to my mage armor, so I wasn't hit anyway, so I trusted my mage armor to prevent me from being hit. But that's one of the drawbacks of cone spells, is that you have to get close, and then, but you can, if you can do it, and you can get a lot, it's totally worth it. Um, um, color spray is really good early on. Um, but not so much later on, so you do want to you want to be a little careful with your spell choices because it's not known how or if you can change out your spells for the more long-term spells. Because you'll get better illusions at the upper levels and then color spray won't be as useful. So hopefully they'll be able, you'll be able to change your spells the way a sorcerer can as they level up. All right, so I've shown off quite a bit here. This was a demonstration of combat. I believe I've performed excellently. This is what you can do when you know the rule set and you know what you're doing and you've exploited the rules to your favor. Once you've done that, you can get through battles even with relatively intelligent AI as this game has demonstrated through other means. So with that, let's close the combat and my demonstrations.